Uh, my name is Hannah Dunn and I'm a self-taught watercolor artist. I've been painting my whole life but since my daughter was born in 2016 is when I started making it into a business where I've painted um, non-stop. <laughs> I just really enjoy it and I feel like it's my way of documenting things. Bringing like everyday things to light, like showing the beauty in just really simple things. It doesn't have to be a spectacular sunset or, you know, anything amazing. You can paint a leaf and see how beautiful it is. got started in watercolor. I had a teacher in high school, which is the only training that I did get, and she was a watercolor artist, and I liked that it it's kind of wild, and it has a mind of its own, and it's hard. And I like to be challenged, I think. And, and it's not messy, and then you can take it with you wherever you go. I think mostly it's because of the effects that you can get with it. You can't do that with any other medium. It, you can't, it, I don't know, maybe there are other mediums, but it's just, it's kind of unpredictable. You have to have a plan um, with watercolors. Unlike other mediums, once you put it down, it's there. You can't cover it up very easily and you can't take it away. So you really have to have a plan of what you're trying to do before. So I sketch everything out and um, you work lightest to darkest and you have to go in layers or you won't be able to control it. If everything's wet, it'll bleed into every different area. So there's a lot of wetting and drying and doing layers on top of layers and that's pretty much the only way you can control it. It's hard because sometimes the kids, they demand more of you and, but your mind is on a project and you really want to complete that project, but your kids, they need you. So sometimes they have to set it down and, um, cause they're my priority. That's why I'm working at home is so that I can be a full-time mom because they're, they're the most important thing. And then this fits in the cracks after bedtime or you know, during nap time, and I have made them an area up here so I can have them up here with me while I'm working and they're learning how, how to behave around, you know, my watercolor things that, you know, they don't touch or this is your area, so it's hard, yeah. I know now I am working on um, being able to frame my own stuff and um, give people a complete package rather than giving them a print and that they have to go search out another place to frame stuff because that's really expensive and um, it's, I don't want to burden people with that either. I want to start doing more children's books and have a very established online shop that um, can bring in a steady income for my family and so I can step back a little bit to spend time with my family um, but keep a still a large presence I guess. I stop and I do a project that I want to do yeah. uh, even if it's just something small I do something that inspires me um, and that I just really find joyful and that uh, it usually creates you know that drive again that you you have so if something's stumping me or or look at other artists um, work sometimes not to copy but just to you know be inspired by others it's not to worry about using supplies up I know I hoarded supplies and didn't want to use the paper because you know it's not cheap paper is expensive but um, use them and paint every day and don't worry about if it's going to be a masterpiece or not. Just start. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and I think people talk about, well, you're an artist, you have to find, you know, wait for that inspiration. And I'm, I think that's sort of true, but also you gotta push through that. It's like anything else.